What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to see that daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video because I am starting the top 10 greatest Ravens of all time series. I'm going to be on vacation for the next like 10 days or so. So for the next 10 days, I will have counting down 10 to 1, the 10 greatest Ravens of all time time. Now, this is not just players because I figured most lists have just players. So I was like, okay, I'm going to include anything associated with the Ravens organization. So coaches, management, all that type of thing, they're all eligible to be making this list. So with that in mind, um, I have an honorable mention that I want to give before I get into it. And that's Mo Gabba. Um, Really wanted to put Mo on this list. Unfortunately, just couldn't get him on, but I had to throw Mo in there. So shout out to Mo Gabba. Um, rest in peace, Mo. But um, let's get into it. At number 10 of the 10 greatest Ravens of all time, we have Joe Flacco. Now, some of you may think that Joe Flacco should be higher up on this list. Some of you may think that he shouldn't even be on this list. But I had to put him on the list, in my opinion. You know, But if you look at his statistics, you know he threw for... 40,000 yards and 224 touchdowns. That's that's absolutely ridiculous. He played for the Ravens for 11 years. He was drafted 18th overall by the Ravens in the 2008 NFL draft, and he was a staple of the Ravens' offense for all of that time. Now, I know we always had the is Flacco elite questions and things of that nature, and people love to debate that probably wasn't elite, um, especially in the regular season. But regular season, Joe Flacco is not the reason why he made this list. January Joe is the one that made this list, the alter ego of regular season Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco in the playoffs is 13th all-time in career wins. That's ridiculous. He's ahead of guys like Russell Wilson who people see as, you know, potential, like I think a lot of people would say that he's a guaranteed Hall of Famer, but Joe Flacco, you know, just he just won in the playoffs and, you know, he did have help. It's not like he was the only player. He had good defenses. He had good run games. Um, he had decent wide receivers. He had a decent tight end core. However, it starts with the quarterback. It absolutely starts with the quarterback, and he was the quarterback that won those games for the Ravens. It was very different than, like, Trent Dilfer winning games for the Ravens. That was like, okay, no quarterback needed. Joe Flacco winning, you absolutely needed a quarterback. And you absolutely needed that quarterback, particularly in Joe Flacco's Super Bowl run, which is probably – I'm going to say it's probably the most impressive Super Bowl run any quarterback has ever made – I mean, you look at it, the stats, 11 touchdowns, zero interceptions, beating young superstar in Andrew Luck, beating one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Peyton Manning, and not just beating him, beating him in the most improbable way with the mile-high miracle, the Flacco fling, whatever you Ravens fans want to call it, absolutely ridiculous pass to Jacoby Jones to tie the game, send it to overtime. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no other way to put it. And then going on to beat Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game. Again, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And then you go on to face a surging Colin Kaepernick, who had, nobody had figured out how to beat yet. And they went out there and, and absolutely slaughtered them until the lights went out. And then, unfortunately, they, they kind of caught up. But... You know, every time I talk about that Super Bowl, I have to bring up my favorite moment from that Super Bowl, which was Joe Flacco on the sideline. And if you have not seen that game mic'd up, absolutely check it out. But basically, the the Ravens, you know, they got the safety. They had to punt it away. Um, and there was, bit, there was, like, no time. There was, like, one or two seconds left. They were like, okay, this is the last play of the game. And Ted Ginn is going to be returning this, this punt. And Ted Ginn is a very good returner. You know, you, you are weary of punting to Ted Ginn. And so Flacco's standing on the sideline, and he's like, hey, hey, if, if he breaks this, we go tackle him. And people are like, what? He's like, yeah, we charge the field and we tackle him. And, and they're like, why? And he's like, I don't know the rules. 
but there's a chance it doesn't count. Like, like that. That's that's how much he wanted to win that game. I mean, honestly, I kind of wish it did happen, just because what would happen in that situation. But he was like, no. I mean, there's a chance that you get banned from the NFL if you do something like that. Like, run onto the field and just blatantly tackle a punt returner about to win a walk off touchdown. Like he could get suspended, you know, for a year. He could get banned for life. I, I honestly do not know the rules on that situation. And neither did he. And he was like, no, I, I'm willing to take that risk because there's a chance that we win this game if he breaks it and we tackle him out on the field. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to tackle him. And then Ted Ginn, of course, he starts running. He actually had a pretty good return, but the Ravens were able to gang tackle him. And that was that. Joe Flacco ended up winning the Super Bowl MVP award and and that just has to make you the top in the top 10 for the top 10 greatest ravens of all time you know that super bowl mvp it isn't a regular season mvp but come on even the only player in ravens history with this regular season mvp would much rather have that super bowl mvp and he balled out and he deserved it and he absolutely deserves a spot on this list you know if you win the lombardi for the ravens who only have two lombardis you got to be in the top 10 greatest Ravens of all time, which is absolutely why Joe Flacco is number 10 on the 10 greatest Ravens of all time. But that's it on this video. Honestly, all these videos are probably going to be similar length. I'm not 100% certain, but um, thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. Subscribe to see the rest of these videos. And I will see all of you again in the next video with number nine.